on this is damn pissed on 24 here and guys today we're gonna be reading xs 39 guys from the niv version also known as the international version if you guys want to go ahead and read along you guys can go ahead and go get your own bible or you guys can can go ahead and read along in biblegateway.com i don't really care but anyway let's get started xs 39 the priestly garments from the blue purple and scarlet yarn they made woven garments for ministering in the sanctuary they also made sacred garments for aaron as the lord commanded moses the ephod they made the ephod of gold and of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn. Sorry guys, I'm kind of out of breath. And of finely twisted linen, they hammered out thin sheets of gold and cut strands to be worked to, into the blue, purple, and scarlet yarn. And fine linen, the work of skilled hands, they made shoulder pieces for the ephod, which were at attached to two of its corners, so it could be fastened. Its skillfully woven waistband was like it. Of one piece with the ephod and made with gold and with blue, purple and scarlet yarn and with finely twisted linen, as the Lord commanded Moses. They mounted the onyx stones and gold filigree settings and engraved them like a seal with the names on the side of I of the sons of Israel. Then they fastened them on the shoulder pieces of the ephod as a memorial, as memorial stones for the sons of Israel, as the Lord commanded Moses. The breast piece. They fashioned the breast piece to work of a skilled craftsman. They made it like the ephod of gold and of pur blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, and a finely twisted linen. It was square, a span long, and a span wide, and folded double. Then they mounted four rows of precious stones on it. The first row was carnelian, chrysolite, and beryl. The second row was turquoise, lapis lazuli, and emerald. The third row was jacinth, ag agate, and amethyst. Sorry guys, if I mispronounced any words. The fourth row was topaz, onyx, and jasper. They are mounted in gold filigree settings. There were 12 stones, one for each of the names of the sons of Israel, each engraved like a seal with the name of one of the 12 tribes. For the breast piece, they made braided chains of pure gold like a rope. They made two gold filigree settings and two gold rings and fastened the rings to two of the corners of the breast piece. They fastened the two gold rings to the rings at the corner rings at the corner of the breast piece and the other ends of the chains to the two settings attaching them to the shoulder pieces of the ephod at the front they made two gold rings and attached them to the other two corners of the breast piece on the inside edge next to the ephod then they made two more gold rings and attached them to the bottom of the shoulder pieces on the front of the ephod close to the same just above the waistband of the ephod they tied the rings of the breast piece to the rings of the ephod of blue cord connecting it to the waistband so that the breast piece will not swing out from the ephod as the Lord commanded Moses. Other priestly garments. They made the robe of the ephod entirely of blue cloth, the work of a weaver, with an opening in the center of the robe like the opening of a collar, and a band around this opening so that it will not tear. They made pomegranates of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and finely twisted linen around the hem of the robe, and they made bells of pure gold and attached them around the hem between the pomegranates. The bells and pomegranates altered around the hem of the robe to be worn for ministering, as the Lord commanded Moses. For, Mo for Aaron and his sons, they made tunics of fine linen, the work of a weaver, and the turbine, a turban of fine lin linen, the linen caps, and the undergarments of finely twisted linen. The, sh the sash was made of finely twisted linen and blue, purple and scarlet yarn, the work of an embroiderer, as the Lord commanded Moses. They made the plate then sacred emblem out of pure gold and engraved on it. Like an inscription on a seal, holy to the Lord, then they fastened a blue cord to it to attach to the turban as the Lord commanded Moses. Moses, Moses inspects the tabernacle. So all the work on the tabernacle, sorry guys, so all the work on the tabernacle, the tent of meeting, was completed. The Israelites did everything just as the Lord commanded Moses. Then they brought the tabernacle to Moses, the tent and all its furnishings, its clasps, frames, crossbars, posts, and bases. The covering of ram skins dyed red, and the covering of another durable letter, and the shielding curtain. The Ark of the Covenant of Law with its poles and the atonement totally cover. The table with all its articles and the bread of the presence. The pure gold lampstand with its rows of lamps and all its accessories, and the olive oil for the light. The gold altar, the anointing oil, the fragrant incense, and the curtain for the entrance to the tent. The bronze altar with its bronze grating, its poles, and, its, and all its utensils. The basin with its stand. The curtains of the courtyard with its posts and bases, and the curtain for the entrance to the courtyard, the ropes and pe tent pegs for the courtyard, all the furnishings for the tabernacle, the tent of meeting, and the woven garments worn for ministering in the sanctuary, both the sacred garments for Aaron the priest and the garments for sons when serving as priest. 
The Israelite had done all the work just as the Lord had commanded Moses. Moses inspecting the work and saw that they had done it just as the Lord had commanded. So Moses blessed them. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to click the like button. Make sure to click the bell to be notified whenever I post. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.